So this is going to be a follow up to the 6K video out of the GH5. So whenever you get the file, this is what it is raw. I just relabeled it to say 6K Pre because I have a couple other files on my desktop. This is my second screen right here. So when you go to, if you're using Premiere or whatever you're using, you come here and you go to import the footage. Here it is 6K Pre. You try to drag it over and it'll give you the green screen. The audio is there, but it's not going to play right. So this is what I like to do to get it to cooperate as the time being is this application right here, Convert 4. It's free to run in trial mode. I think you get two uh, converts per for the trial. So just run a trial mode. And we'll go to import media, 6K pre. And here it is. So I just went outside of my balcony, recorded for 7.5 seconds. I had it set in Cinelike D using the 18 to 35 with the Metabones Ultra. You can see the resolution here is 4992 by 3744. So I think the video resolution is coming out different than what the actual uh, stills can come out, but this is what it is. So then if you want to get it to be a usable file, go here and you could change what you want the codec to be. I just usually go ProRes right here. All this stuff looks good. And then you choose where you want it to go. And we'll go right here to my the F drive and you click render batch. And it's going to render it out. The file is going to be, I think I calculated to be about three to four times bigger than your normal files. So if you want to, if you're really meaning about just trying to get that extra resolution in your videos, just keep that in mind. Uh, and yeah, so it's rendering out and I'll come back whenever it's done rendering. Okay, so it just finished and I moved it over right here. 6K pre new. So let's take a look at what we have here. So it was originally 172, 172 megabits and so MP4. Let's see what it is now. 2.4. So that is exponentially a larger file size. <laughs> And it is a .mov file now. So now if we take it into Premiere, let's see, import, and it's looks pretty new. And it should read it. Just a test for the 6K video mode. Here it is. And like I said, there it is. So. If you want to use it in the extra resolution or what I think would be beneficial to shoot anamorphic lenses because anamorphic lenses squeeze in the image and then in, in post you go in and stretch them out to something like this. Uh, let's see, I think I have to do a new sequence. Let's do that, 4K, yay. Okay, so let's do the 6 pre new, modify. Not doing it, oh, the wrong one footage then we go to number one pixel aspect so if you're to shoot in anamorphic stretch it out uh, we'll change it and see what it looks like just a test for the 6k video imagine shooting anamorphic is gonna squash it in then you unsquash it, you'll get a little more resolution than what uh, probably the highest resolution video you could get out of this camera. So, hope that helps you all. Uh, I'm trying to trick anyone, I was just calling it 6K video because that's the photo mode. So, I found it produced a video file. So, I just use the video file to turn it into this, turn it into some, some usable footage. So, there you have it.